What's up, guys? Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. Yes, you're going to get hit with a double intro this time, I think, guys. We have probably what could be, could be, the most insane copy someone has found in the Soul Temple from their Soul Awakenings with a SSS Shia, with SSS Attack, SSS HP, and SSS Speed. Man, that is a tongue twister. Uh, but what we're also going to be doing is after that, if you guys are interested in winning an Android account, we're going to do a giveaway in this video. Uh, we're not going to make any subscriber goal, but you do have to be a subscriber to win it. So if you want a chance to win it, first thing you guys got to do, hit that subscribe button right right under the video. Just hit, or I'll put it up the, to the top corner of the two. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, we will pick a winner probably in a day or two just to get it into someone's hands. Uh, but this is going to be an absolutely, 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 absolutely insane hero copy. So let's jump right into it and I'll let you guys decide, is it real or is it fake? <laughs> Uh, okay, so somebody supposedly said there was a crazy copy that was on the tap tap servers, but I'm on the tap tap and I don't see it anywhere. So do we call it fake? Do we call it real? I don't know because supposedly someone hit a triple SSS copy. We have a screenshot. The damage ranges are in the acceptable amount, uh, but again, I don't see it anywhere, like anywhere at all. And they were asking some ridiculous, ridiculous numbers for it. Um, I don't see it. I don't see it on our regular servers either. So fake or insanely lucky. So the infamous screenshot is right here. Uh, the resolution is correct because like, I'll shrink this down for you guys. This is typically what you see from like an iOS phone image, like a screenshot because it's usually extra wide. Um, I mean, the stats seem reasonable. Like they seem accurate. They're all in, they, they're not capping out too high. That's like 16,000 buyouts, like 32,000. <laughs> oh my God. Um, but that, I, I don't know, fake, real? What do you guys think? Because I jumped on the tap tap servers and it wasn't up. Granted, this was in the display phase when it was posted, which your offers usually last like two, what, two to three days. Actually, let's take a look. What does it actually last? Uh, t -t 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 offers usually are on the market for like 48 hours, right? Yeah. So they're on there for like two days, unless this is like a really old screenshot. I'm not seeing it like at all. Heck, we could even do like limit the stuff to 10,000 and higher. <laughs> Just the bidding price. Uh, I mean, there's two A copies here going for huge amounts, but that's about it. That's all I see here. Um, but the one thing to talk about is yes, technically it's within acceptable ranges for this type of thing because, uh, where is it? If you look in here, uh, for an S and above, it caps out at 909 or 9,900 and the speed caps out at 99 and the image we're looking at has reasonable values. I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge, but did someone literally hit the jackpot or is someone just trying to do like a crazy flex? Maybe they threw it up for the display period and then canceled it because they wanted to keep it. That's a possibility, but someone might have actually hit not the best copy possible because of course these can go up to 9,900 each and that can go to 99, but holy for those of you guys who stuck around, it is time for the giveaway. So the account we have right here is an Android blue stacks, whichever one you want to use account. Uh, and it's a pretty sweet one to be honest. Like it's, it's a, it's a pretty good one. We got multiple transcendence heroes. We have like all the key heroes you want, like literally all of them. You have Amon Ra and uh, Carrie. You need, have need both of those for vortex pushes. You got Drake, of course, at V4, three V4 heroes. 
uh probably pretty much a fourth one you have a bunch of rogans which are amazing you got ignis delacium for maybe helping out in a uh, broken spaces you have the householders you have a uh, sherlock for support in abyss or not abyss in fortress sealant my brain's all over the place and we're working on a gloria hero copies not a ton of them this isn't like a hoarder account by any means i do want to see how far we are in vortex though valiant this is very easy probably even to get some vanquisher uh kind of progressed here as far as star spawns go is a little low on a couple of them actually wow the whale pet isn't the highest one that's a little confusing i always want to go assassin and whale pet as your first two highest and then everything to follow i still need two more as well they are what which two are we missing i can't even think at the top of my head uh, either way, we'll get an, we'll get another star spawn cooking in there. But yeah, it's a decent power level. If we take a look at Cloud Island, we can see we have one main residence, pretty much everything and all resources into it. About level 30 on everything. And this is why we built the glory on this account, because of course we need it for a householder. Uh, not too bad. Overall, as soon as you want to push, then you're going to want to put the imprints on both the Fiona and the Sherlock and the Inosuke. Uh, but let's take a look. Let, let's see what the actual gearing looks like now, too. We have Resident Suits of Gear, which is good. One Melodic Strings, one Punisher, a Glittery a and a Glittery Kiss of Ghost, Glittery Demon Bell. Gonna need to farm some of those up and some Ruby Scepters. We do have a maxed out crown, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, Artifacts does seem to be part of the issue, but that is also VIP 5. You guys ever notice VIP 5 is triggeringly off-centered, and it's been like that since inception it drives me nuts resources not really that much saved up for like anniversary or anything we do have some star spawn cores we're i mean we're 60 percent of the way to the next transcendence hero which should be jara if you guys can manage to get the artifacts if you can't manage to get the artifacts then i'm gonna have to say you need to go with vesa uh couple chests nothing significant really there any other paid one artifacts in the bag doesn't really look like it equipment very sparse so this is one that's a little bit more limited compared to previous ones we have four maxed out monsters which is cool Ooh, ooh! i was gonna say if we have a free awakening maybe we'll do it <laughs> let's check out sea land so we got 21 with the eloise that one's always very easy to get done honestly with a v4 eloise they might even be able to get further but that fairy guard that she goes up against is really difficult 18 on abyss really you should be able to get 20 done very easily on this account. Put the Kiss of Ghost on him. He will slaughter them. Light Sea Land, we are not getting anywhere. That looks like what the Russell build is for. But we only have one more Russell, so might have been a little premature to start building it. At least a 10 star. Fortress, yeah. Fortress is good because you have all those Fortress heroes. Forest at 20. Dark at 20. All those things, very, very good. Looks like you probably did it with the Drake. Probably did it with, I mean, you probably could have done it with the Rogans, to be honest. It, it wouldn't be that difficult to get that done. So, I mean, not the worst thing in the world. Um, Yeah, pretty solid account, though. So, all you guys need to do is hit that subscribe button. Just hit it. Hit that subscribe button right now. Leave a comment down below of Fortress. No, no, no. Yes, yes. I don't want to confuse people. Use the keyword Fortress if you want a chance to win this account, and we'll get it in your hands in a day. We're not going to go like any subscriber goals, but again, like I said, you have to be subscribed to win it. We do confirm and check that, and uh, yeah, we're growing pretty good. We're up to like 73,400 subscribers now, so thank you guys so much for the support. What do you guys think about that hero copy? I'll see you guys next time.